all right uh, welcome to my another video everyone so in, the, in today's video uh, we are going to discuss about the set timeout and the set interval which are two important functions in javascript we will discuss about uh, set timeout set interval how this works and also we'll discuss about a clear timeout clear interval and then we'll look at the order of execution of for these functions so that's what we are planning for this video and so let's get started so uh, first thing i'm going to do is um, so the set time or the set interval so these are the two functions which we can use when you when you want to run some asynchronous code let's say i'm uh, running a set of uh, codes in javascript and then I want some 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 set of actions or some set of code to run after a specific time like after two seconds or after four seconds right so that's that specific piece of code we can write inside the set interval so what happens is sorry set timeout so what happens is if you if you put some code inside the set timeout we can specify a time so that specific code which is written inside the set timeout is will be executed after the time that we have time that we have mentioned okay so that's timeout and the set interval is nothing but if you want to like execute that specific set of uh, code uh, every every uh, like two seconds or three seconds or four seconds right so we can we can use that for set interval so uh, let's let's look at look at a very simple example so uh, set timeout what i'm doing is this i'm just writing a function for the set timeout uh, nothing but I'm just putting it as a console log of inside inside set timeout and that's all I do and then I have to I can I can put the time here so basically I will see like when I say 200 so it's it's actually taking the millisecond so I'm putting is 2000 so it takes us uh, so it takes us two seconds so what it means is set timeout so uh, it will execute this this set of code which is written in set, set timeout after two seconds so we, let's say if we have like different different lines of code which is written about this so it will execute all those code and this one it will it will be executed only after waiting for two seconds okay so let's let's uh, run it we'll see okay i've already run the code but see this displayed now but it waited for like two seconds and then it displayed it okay let's say if i updating it to 5000 so i'm running it again so it's it's waiting 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 so, so after five seconds it's it's printing so this is executed after five seconds okay that's all very simple and so let's let's put, let's write an example for the set interval two so what set interval does is it executes the same thing it will work uh, similar to the set timer but only thing is it it will execute every like if i put like 2000 which means two seconds so this piece of code which is written inside the set interval will be executed every two seconds okay let's put print a console log inside uh, scoping it console log inside set interval okay so if i put like this so what is happening is so set interval will be executed after five seconds but set interval will be executed after two seconds set timeout will be executed after five seconds okay so let's run it and see how it works so it's two seconds so it runs this code it's four seconds it again this code at fifth second it again runs this code sixth second is this eight second ten second it executes every two seconds it will print the set interval okay so that's the basic concept of the set interval and the set timeout okay and then uh, let's say if you if you if you want to like clear this timeout so i don't want this timeout to happen so how we can do that is i'm just assigning this to uh, let set time equal to i'm just assigning this function to uh, a variable okay so let me and then what i can do is clear timeout there is a function in javascript which says clear timeout and i can say just 
set time okay so what happens now is the execution will come to this point so when it when it sees this one it's understand okay it has to wait for 5 seconds and suddenly it will uh, execute this statement so which actually clears this time out so what is going to happen is this line of code will never be executed okay let's see it, how it works so it came here it is actually executed a clear timeout so you will never see this inside timeout getting printed here because this will never execute because this has actually cleared the timeout so it it waits for 5 seconds but before that itself it clears the timeout so similar to this we have like something called the set sorry clear interval okay so let's assign this to some variable let set interval set int okay I'm just copying this and i'm pasting it here set interval so eventually what is going to happen is when i run this nothing is going to be executed this will clear the timeout this will clear the time interval okay so it waits for 2 seconds but before that it clears the interval so it nothing will be displayed so it never gets like gets executed okay so that's the difference between the set timeout set interval clear timeout and the clear interval okay it's basically used to run some asynchronous code it's it basically waits for certain amount of time that you mention when uh, defining the set timeout and set interval and then it executes it okay so let's let's look at some uh, one more thing so let's say let's let's see what happens if i put a zero seconds so what is going to happen is every zero second it will be printed again and again so there is no time i'm giving so it will it is going to print this inside set interval like an infinite number of times so the moment i run this it is going to print every like every because the time is set as zero so it keeps printing this with same, same thing okay so let me change this to 1000 so it prints every one second okay so similarly what if what happens if i print zero here let's let's put some 10000 so it's 10 seconds okay so what happens is set time out will be printed immediately because the time set is zero which means it will be printed immediately okay so this is not printed yet because it's it's waiting for the 10 seconds so it's the 10 second it is printed so what happens if i don't give the time itself so this will assume that the time is set as zero okay so if you run this so this is going to print assume that the set interval time set is zero so it keeps printing the set interval okay so let me change this to 1000 or 10000 then let me run it again okay so that's how it works so that's how that's that's the difference between the set timeout set interval um, the clear timeout and the clear interval okay so i hope i hope you learn something from this tutorial i i don't want to make it very lengthy one so i want to keep things simple so if you learn something from this tutorial please do share my uh, video uh, do subscribe to my channel and uh, share this video with your friends um, and leave a nice comment and put a hit hit the like button so see you in the next video until then bye